Hi guys, and welcome back. You want to use an Excel calendar on your computer, but you don't want to use the templates that they have, standard templates, because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of information over there, and you want to keep it simple. So today, I'm going to share with you a very simple way how you can do that. First of all, we want to use a month. So on the top, I will put month, and then I will start from one side of this particular spreadsheet by writing is equal to text and then column. And uh, in the column, I will open and close the parenthesis and then I will write four times D. This functionality gives me the name of the day. So the starting day is Sunday. I will move on and you can see from one end to another, we reached from Sunday to another Sunday. But we don't need this Sunday, so I will remove that. I will loop in a little bit so you can see how this looks like now. I will drag this in the middle of the page as well for you. Now, you want to drag days or number of dates. So one, two, three, and so on and so forth. So you can simply drag it till the end. Now, you give one space and start with the next number and take it till the end. Of course, you have to fill series here. 14th, then 15th is the next one. And we move on till 21st here. And then from 21st, I will start till 27th. And actually it was wrong because from 21st, we will start with 22nd, which means we will reach at 28th and from 28th, we will reach, let's say, till the end of the month. Okay, we reach till 31st of January, select all of them and bring them to center so that they look beautiful. Now, we'll also give some space to these numbers. So you have some dates here. I will select um, alternatively these empty columns and cells so that I can have some space here. I will get it a bit down and you see I'm giving a little bit of more room here to each one of these empty cells. Why? Because I am going to give it a different color and the reason behind the different color is that we are going to use these particular columns in order to build ourselves some data. What kind of data would you need to build in this one? It's very simple. You can use these particular boxes to write down your daily tasks, to write down your, your reminders, whatever you usually uh, use these diaries for. So now you have a standard simple calendar here. You can use this for your daily reminders. You can use it for put it down the notes and the tasks in the day. And at the end of the day, you can keep it in your diary. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. There is another way to deal with it as well. And that is going down into the templates and getting yourself a template. That is, in my opinion, a bit more easier way to do that. We will look into that in one of our next videos. Till then, stay safe and take care of yourself. Ciao, ciao.